Good day everyone, Complaining Gamer here. Jumping right into it, we have a new version of Simu which has just released for Patreon supporters and coming to the public on the 4th of February. Before we get into the nitty gritty, I'd just like to say that my channel grew on covering emulation based content and will continue to do so. So no, I haven't forgotten about all of you that come to my channel for my style of delivery and emulator news specifically. With that said, Semu finished strong in 2018 and has continued that momentum into early 2019. With still very healthy support on Patreon, the leading Wii U emulator doesn't seem to be going away anytime soon. The newly released version 1.15.2 introduces features and fixes under the hood which may not immediately jump out as much of quality of life improvements, but a bit more technical. When I say quality of life, of course I'm talking about features which blatantly benefit the end user in the simplest way and have been requested for many months, such as the introduction of the built-in graphic pack downloads option first seen in version 1.15.1 and earlier fulfilled wishlist requests such as real-time adjustments of some graphic packs. Other quality of life improvements came in the form of a graphical stats overlay in 1.15.0 and a personal favourite of mine introduced in 1.15.1 where the NVIDIA GPU GL cache is now stored within the CMU root folders without a size limit. In the new CMU 1.15.2, VSync now works whereas it previously did little or nothing. To avoid any conflicts, changes are recommended if you made adjustments to VSync in NVIDIA Profile Inspector. I'll provide a link thread to that below. Otherwise, you'll simply find VSync in Options, General Settings, Graphics with VSync at the top. Simply turning on should fix any screen tearing you may be experiencing. It's a choice, not a must, depending on your usage. One fantastic new feature is added support for Wii U gamepad audio output. That means that any gamepad exclusive audio will now be heard as expected, taking Simu one step closer to complete accurate emulation. Games which will benefit from this as far as I know are Star Fox Zero, Warriors Iraqi 3 Hyper, Hyrule Warriors 2 player and Splatoon 1 2 player. Please feel free to tell me any more that you know of. Now audio in SEMA is more flexible than ever offering a lot of control. If you go to options general settings audio you'll find individual volume sliders for both TV and gamepad audio as well as selectable audio output devices. So basically, if you wanted, you could have gamepad audio coming out of your wireless Xbox One controller, along with TV sound at the same time, or any selectable audio device. You'll also find that many in-game sounds are accentuated by gamepad audio. Let me show you this new feature in action in Star Fox Zero. Upscaling and downscaling filters are now separate options with two new additions in Hermite and Nearest Neighbor. I have no idea what their specific differences are, so why don't I just show you downscaling from 4K to 1080 on Breath of the Wild. To my eyes, Biolinear is still the best option. What do you think? Following that, the high setting in GPU buffer accuracy is said to have optimized performance. A setting that we typically set to low for maximum potential FPS is actually locked to high in some games through game profiles, such as Donkey Kong Tropical Freeze, to actually decrease visual glitches. But of course, game profiles are easily customized text files, so buffer accuracy can be changed as desired there. Through my own quick playtest, Tropical Freeze did seem to be performing very well in 1.15.2. A quality of life change which has been introduced in version 1.15.2 involves a bug which has been fixed where controller settings would reset when not connected on application launch. 
a very nice feature of convenience which just improves the overall end user experience. With each step forward, whether small or large, implementing user-friendly features, Semu is becoming easier to use and more accessible to new players. The changes indicated in this latest version don't hint at performance in any major way, so don't expect significant or any FPS leaps. At least that was my experience on my system between the last release of version 1.15.1. On the topic of systems, I'm very happy to inform you all that I've built a new rig with all the specs included down below. The final additions to 1.15.2 come in the form of CPU JIT, sound and VPAD improvements. Early community feedback reports indicate that Super Mario World First Level Cloud Shadows, Paper Mario Color Splash Softlocks, Tokyo Mirage Sessions Sound and Xenoblade Chronicles X Sound do still need fixing. However, Xenoblade has seen some improvements. Dark Maste, our resident AMD aficionado, has reported that Donkey Kong Tropical Freeze is performing as good as Simu 1.7.3, a classic build known for stable Donkey Kong on his AMD rig. Do keep in mind that typically the Patreon version is improved upon by the time it's publicly released, so some issues may be fixed by February the 4th. As always, more testing and time is needed to learn every detail. So that's going to do it for now, people. See me 1.15.2 out now on Patreon and free on February the 4th. Leave your ideas, thoughts, and comments down below. If you dislike the video, leave a dislike. If you liked it, leave a like. And remember to subscribe and hit that bell icon. I'll catch you in the next one.